A lot of guys have reached out to me and asked me to help them when it comes to bedroom performance anxiety. So really getting anxious and worked up to the point of premature ejaculation or to the point of where you don't take action and you avoid you know, any sexual experience because the anxiety of the experience just overwhelms you. Well, I'm gonna give you a few tips that you can use right away to relieve yourself of that anxiety and start to have a healthy sexual expression. Let me explain. Hi, my name is Nikula Dawes and I help men master their sex energy so they can become powerhouses both in and outside the bedroom. You definitely wanna have a great, healthy sexual expression. Even if you are a monk, the fact of the matter is, is you still have sexual energy and you want to have a good, healthy relationship with it. Sexual energy is creative energy, so it doesn't have to just be used in the bedroom. Of course, when it comes to the bedroom, a lot of guys experience sexual performance anxiety. Maybe they've had some negative experiences in the past. Maybe you can relate. Maybe you had a, a premature ejaculation or you couldn't get it up. You couldn't perform, right? Maybe you couldn't, uh, you couldn't ejaculate at the end. I had that once. <laughs> I, just, I just was so turned off. <laughs> Anyways, I just, right? So I was like, yeah, I'm done. Right? And it wasn't a planned tantric one. <laughs> so the point is, is this, is that um, you just, yeah, you just don't like, you know, like, like negative experiences in sexuality, just like life will happen. So I understand that sometimes these things happen and it creates an anxiety because, you know, we think that's going to be the, you know, we, we have this tendency as human beings sometimes to have one thing happen to us and then we allow this one thing that happened sometimes years ago, could be a lifetime ago, literally continue to dictate the way we continue to live our life. It, it doesn't make sense, but a lot of us get trapped in that, uh, in that kind of way. I would actually say check out the... Uh, I did a video on um, semen retention and living a dynamic life. And that video really explains that in a, in a deeper way. When we have all these negative experiences or we have negative emotions around our sexuality, then naturally we're going to have anxiety about our sexuality and expressing that sexuality. Now, this, uh, when we have, so the first thing we want to do is you want to work on the inner work of your, of your sexuality. This is really, what is it that you believe about sex? What is it that your culture taught you about sex? Are you aware that other cultures have totally different belief systems? Uh, I've looked at sexual belief systems from around the world and different time periods in human history. It's quite fascinating. It's a fascinating subject. There's all different types of sexual practices, belief systems. Uh, sex has been used in so many different ways. From, from prostitution to, to sex magic and rituals and, uh, you know, um, uh, different types of, of family dynamics. Couples who are exclusive, couples who are non-exclusive, couples who try swinging. Couple, then there's family dynamics where there's one, uh, you know, like certain uh, religious sects out in, um, you know, uh, in the U.S. have uh, one husband and three wives or six wives. And then there's uh, like tribes where uh, rituals where the, 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 the women share the men. It's like, you know, in a totally in a different way. So uh, or there's this one ritual, this African tribe where the the uh, the men will show themselves. So there'll be a group of men. The woman will choose the man that she wants to be with and they'll do a dance and the men will try to seduce her with a dance. She'll choose. But before she sleeps with him. You know, a bunch of the aunts and uncles all get to take a turn with him to give approval. Can he perform? Can he please her? That's how, like, they saw it. So it, it's it's quite a fascinating subject. And the point is, is that you you can recognize that there are so many different belief systems running sex. And much of the belief systems that run you and your sexuality is at an unconscious level. And what you need to do is bring them up consciously and say, what do I really believe about sex? And what is sex for me? So once you do this, you can really do the inner work. And this helps, uh, this helps you become comfortable and own your sexuality. And this will extend to the way you feel about your body. 
Body insecurity is definitely a libido killer. Why? Because if we don't feel good about our body, how are we going to express ourselves sexually? And so this is where, you know, we have to move away from the magazines and the porn and, the, and, and all that kind of stuff that's given our society and a, man, uh, just an unrealistic view of ourselves, of how we need to look to be sexually attractive. And, and also uh, what women need to look like. It's, it's totally distorted. So we need to get back into a natural, healthy view of beauty and our body and acceptance, self-love and acceptance on this journey is the path. If you, how could you possibly extend pleasure to someone if you cannot even get out of your own way? right? You just have so many blocks there. So this is the part that you really want to work on. And this is something that you may work on like all the time, constantly, you know, as you continue to expand and dig up things. But as you work on things and as you take little steps of, of courage and, and you, you, you grow and you, you, you start to reshape how you view yourself and your sexuality and owning it, you're going to see a whole new dynamic. That more youthful dynamic will start to come out because your energy is actually now starting to flow again within your body. You're not holding it or suppressing it. Suppress, that's what suppressing it means. It's not just the, the priest going, you, you, you know, you're suppressing, you don't do it. That's suppressing means you're tight. You're literally suppressing your energy because you're like tight in the world. Sexual energy is loose, it flows, right? So once you become looser, you become more relaxed. This is gonna help you with, uh, you know, a bedroom performance anxiety. You're gonna really be comfortable in who you are. And that's that's like, you know, 80% of the work. Now you can do the other, do the, do the things too, do the outer things, you know? Do the material things, uh, get in shape. This is gonna help tremendously, right? Lose weight eat healthy, like put up, know that this is going to also make you feel good about yourself. And when you feel confident about yourself, when you, when you look in the mirror and you're like, yeah, you know, and again, you don't have to be, you know, some supermodel, but when you just see progress, you're going to be like, yeah, and that's going to lift you up and make you feel confident. And so in that way, you know, keep yourself clean, you know, uh, eat well, uh, make sure you get good rest, work out, make yourself uh, attractive to you and, and work with what you've got. Accept what you've got and then work with what you've got and make it the best version of you. Don't try to be the best version of, you can use others as an inspiration. Like I look at other guys and look at their physique and get inspired and say, wow, wow, he's got like an amazing body or he's really, you know, he's really toned or he's got a body that I would love to aspire to but it's not to compare and be like oh look at his body look at my body oh no now you're just weak you're just a victim you need to stop that and you just use it as inspiration and then go okay now this is my body god gave me this frame and so i'm always grateful to god i never never not be grateful there so thank you for this frame and let's see what this is made of you know, God didn't leave me out of greatness. He, he gave me greatness too. So this body has greatness. And he didn't leave me out of the sexual pool. Everyone has sex energy. Everyone. It's just some are more tapped into it than others. That's all it is. And one of the things is accepting God gave me this body. Now I'm going to work with this and put it in the best shape possible. And, uh, and you're going to feel great. And you're going to feel more sexy. And that's also going to take away from the bedroom performance anxiety. Then the second thing is, I would say, is actually learn some techniques on how to last longer in the bedroom. Learn some techniques on how to perform, to please uh, your, your, your partner. And in that way, you can become confident. And there's many healthy instructional sex guides. That's something I'm going to be introducing in the channel and in my content as time goes on. Uh, you know, I've focused lots on semen retention. I'm going to focus there. But there is a whole dynamic of also just techniques and things that you can do to feel confident and become a better performer and lover. Okay, but there's tons of great resources out in the world that are healthy. Don't watch porn and think that's where you're getting your instruction. That's angles, take, take one. It's fake. They're, they're, it's, they're acting, right? Everything is exaggerated and over the top, but there are good, healthy instructional videos and, um, and uh, 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 content that is uh, about healthy sexual expression with good techniques that you could become masterful in the bedroom. 
So it's two steps and 80% of it is step one. It's the internal part. You want to reduce bedroom performance anxiety? You need to up your inner game. And semen retention helps you do that. In fact, it's the most powerful way to do that. Why? Because it literally keeps all the best stuff. Your whole building blocks are inside your semen. You're going to recirculate all those building blocks throughout your blood and throughout the body. This is going to start to make you stronger. It's going to give you more masculine qualities as it stimulates your testosterone. This is going to get you to want to work out more. This is going to get you motivation. This is going to get you feeling good about yourself. And that's going to start a whole domino effect. And within a couple of years, you're not even going to be able to recognize your life because you're going to be totally transformed and it's going to grow exponentially as you continue to practice. If you want to master this lifestyle, come work with me. Every guy who works with me improves inside of the semen retention army. All you got to do is go and sign up for the free ejaculation control guide. It's in the description below. You're going to get an email within a couple minutes. There's going to be a WhatsApp group link. Click that link. Come inside the WhatsApp group. That's where you're going to find a ton of semen retention practitioners all sharing their stories. You're going to see me. I'm sharing techniques, videos, sharing my own practice with all the guys inside of there. You're also going to get access in that email to the free ejaculation control guide to give you some tools and techniques to last longer in the bedroom. So that gets you started. That's the first place you can go for a healthy resource for sexual bedroom performance so that you can have the sexual life that you want and that you deserve and the sexual expression that this human body can bring to the table. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.